Hi folks, Rob Potter here from Rob Potter Golf, or Dobby as you like to know me. I'm down here today at Ringway Golf Club. No, I haven't changed homes. This is where my physio's based here and at Sale Leisure Centre. So down here to see uh, Matt from MLH Physio. Um, I'm going to introduce him to him shortly. And this is what's known as my Battle for Fitness series that I've just started up. And it has been a battle for a number of years. Many of you know I was involved in a road traffic collision. Uh, back in 2006 which gave me lots of different injuries brain injury being one of them uh, but a lot of also what be classed as superficial injuries but have actually caused me a lot of long term problems um, so this is now you're thinking why, why so long why, why after 12 years are you doing this a lot of it was because I was in denial that I ever had anything wrong um, a lot of it was in the fact of I generally don't like gym. I love exercise. I love playing me football. I love playing rugby, me golf, everything else. Problem is now I'm not allowed to play rugby. Not allowed to play football. Not allowed to play anything impacting that could impact the the noggin. Um, I just kind of lost motivation. I uh, lost the drive. Lost everything. Apart from all I want to do is play golf, and that is still the same now. All I want to do is play golf. Maybe do a bit of swimming. So I'm hoping to try and incorporate that into what we're doing now i've been seeing matt for some time now as you know i've been i've got the the, the dodgy wrist so um we're now stepping up a gear but we're still working on the wrist and trying to get this this right and sorted and it's not been too bad you know the 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 uh the bandages the, the, these strips have been really really good but we just want to try and you know get things right uh matt is um a tp uh, sorry, T, tpi certified instructor so he can give me a lot of help uh, in terms of going forward and getting stuff right. And his details, he's, I've, I've put his details a few times on some of the other videos. So details is going to be on this video as well. It's MLH Physio. Uh, and well, we're about to go in there. So I'll give you, uh, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. Won't be long. Hi folks, right, so we're down here uh, at Ringway uh, with my good friend Matt, uh, Matt Lakinghall uh, so, from MLH Physio. Um, Golf performance physio, uh, as I mentioned before, in the car. So we're going to come down here. We're, we're, this is my, now, as we said before, battle for fitness. Uh, this is the, the, the idea for the new series. Uh, to try and get it all through. Matt, um, just talking through in terms of what you do. You're um, is it TPI qualified. Is yeah. it level two? Is it? So yeah, level two certified uh, medical. So once you get to everyone does level one. Once you go up to level two, they split it into the different golf professionals, fitness, medical, those sides. So yeah, so I've done a level two medical on that. So medical two, yeah. right? Brilliant. So the idea, what what Matt's going to do for me is he's going to try and get me back to what I want to try and get to, and hopefully get as good as what I used to be in terms of physical fitness. Uh, it's a, for injury prevention, really, at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. So the first aim. With yourself, Rob, is to try and get you get your pain free. Yeah. Try and uh, improve uh, improve your function in terms of your injuries. So try and get rid of that pain that you're suffering from day to day, but also on the golf course. Uh, so at the minute, we've not gone through a full sort of TPI screening, but we've used uh, some of the sort of TPI sort of work, uh, but then more also more of a normal sort of physio assessment, but uh, with more of a golf bias. So that knowledge from that I've gained from TPI and through golf, and um, that gives us a little bit more specific golf golf bias to where we're, where we're going with the assessments um, and then once we get more pain free once we get more function back that's when then we'd look at more the bigger TPI screen. Brilliant as, 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 you, as you guys know from what I've said in my, in my in my videos with Rick and stuff like that over the last, uh, last 12 months is that I've been really, really hampered with my injuries so I've been playing a round of golf then seven days off not being able to play round of golf again 14 days off through, through a shoulder injury. So this is now, like I said, it, it's about trying to stop that happening. Um, we, we've been working now for probably, probably about eight, nine weeks now, it's roughly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Start off with, with the wrist. Uh, we've just done a little bit of work on that now today, which is it's pointless trying to film that. Um, and you know that was just getting me in a place where I could go to Spain with Liam, with Golf Logs UK, um, and be able to at least hit some golf balls pain-free. And I managed to get all through all three days pain-free. Um, no problems at all, shoulders weren't having an issue, nothing like that and that's before we even started working this so hopefully this should, uh, should, this should be kicking on better so we're going to do some exercises, uh, we'll try and get some filming done for that for you and you get a rough idea of what we've done um, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll probably summarise it afterwards so stay tuned and we'll get ready for this next bit uh, if you face the Lord, no. so what we're going to do first of all stand with our feet together we're going to take our arms up above our head Okay, and then from there we're just going to lean far back as we can just arching back there 
any pain coming into there at all, anything like that? Any of your pain in your back? Nothing as much. Back, no. Cool, back to the middle. Then from there, we're going to look at rotating. So what we're going to do is rotate around to your right shoulder, your right side as far as you can from your hips and shoulders. Good, Same any pain around to the north. Same thing around to the left side. Rotate around there. So that's a little bit better than last time, so that's yeah. good. Okay. Uh, from there, let's grab the chair. So, what we're going to do is obviously onto the chair there. Okay. And then, pop the club. I'm going to put your perch on the edge so your knees and feet are together. Okay. And then you put the club around the back of you there. Okay. okay. Should be able to see it. Yeah. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate around to that right side as far as you can. Good. Keeping those knees together, so just come back to the middle. And then just keep those knees nice and tight. Go to the same right side again. Good. And then around to this left side for me. Keep those knees together. Good. So yeah, not too bad there. Okay. Take that out to there. Perfect. Um, Right, the other thing we're going to do is on the wall, so have a stand up for us. Okay. And then what we're going to do is look at the mobility of your lats. So we're just going to check this out on the wall. So if you sit down on the wall, we should be able to get you in. And we'll look at going up and over there for us as far as you can. We're going to keep that lower back nice and flat onto the wall there. Keep that nice and tight there. Thumbs out, elbow straight, and then up and over for us and try and touch that wall. Good. Pretty good there, but pretty easy with that one. Yeah. yeah. Perfect, that's cool. Okay, so in terms of most of those things, that's all pretty good. Um, that's fine. Yeah. So um need to this shoulder, so come and stand back into okay. the middle for us. So what we're gonna look at now is the rotation of your shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna bring this arm out to your side here, okay, and then we're gonna have a little lean, turn the arm back and out for us there. Any pain on that right side? No, I felt the shoulder crack off. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> and as I on this one, I'm just going to turn that back there. Good, and that comes there. Okay, and then we're going to go down into golf posture for us. And then again, we're going to bring this right arm up and out to the side. And then we're going to turn that arm back and out there for us. Good. Yeah, I feel it just pinching. Just pinching them a little bit. So that's where it's more of a struggle. Yeah. So when you stood up, go to that one. You get it just beyond the spine angle. Yep. This side, this isn't too bad. That right side, especially here, what you can see is you struggle to get beyond or get level with that spine. Yeah, so it's a lot less. I feel it on the feel third, it yeah. here because those muscles that we started working last time, they're just not good. That's where they're not quite working as well. Okay. So that's where we're getting more of that pain, and that's what's causing that hitching. With you. Okay. Right, right, let's go down onto the floor now for a second. Okay. We're doing the move here where we're going to rest down onto our elbows. That's great. Bring the elbows to there, nearer the knees here for us. Okay. And then we're going to put the right hand behind the head. Okay. And then from there, we're keeping the hips nice and stable, we're going to lift this shoulder and chest up and round as far as we can. Any pain in there at all? No pain, but I can feel it. You can feel it working through there. Okay? Yeah, I can feel so the back stiff. Stiff through there. Pop the arm now into the lower back for us, so as if it's tucked into your pocket. And then do the same thing again there, lift up and round. Any pain there at all? No. Feel no, easier Just doing that. stiff, yeah. Stiff, yeah. Okay. Now we're just going to let it go up around there. So, yeah. So, you can see there, it is a bit stiff. I can't really take it any further. Whereas no. a couple of weeks ago, we could probably get it a little bit further, but it just looks stiff there. Yeah, the pain you do get in around that shoulder blade tells me there's an issue around that shoulder blade from when you had your hand behind your head. Yeah. As soon as you take the arm out of it, yeah. it's a lot easier. Let's go with the left side now. Okay. So we're put that there, yeah. Keep the hips still and then up and round for us. Good. I feel like Harry Morgan doing this. <laughs> Good. Any pain there? Not too bad? No, no, no. Just, just feel it down the lats here. Yeah, um, just work. It's yeah, hard work. It really works it. Pop the left arm in and then again lift that chest up and round. Good. And you feel as bad. You feel as bad. And I still feel it, but yeah. whereas you can see there, you can see the difference. Yeah, there's much How more. Much more. There's loads more movement there, isn't there? Whereas that right side is all a little bit stiff around there. Yeah, because like when when you turn to me on the right side, I'm yeah. feeling like right down yeah, the spine. Yeah. So if we go back to that, so go onto your right side again there. 
will see the difference and you'll be able to see it obviously on the video if that's as far as it wants to go. Yeah. Whereas the other side will just go that little bit further. So it's just showing you there's a little bit of stiffness in there around there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. I'll stand up for us. No problem. So, um, Right, so from following on from where we was last week, uh, last week, a couple of weeks ago now, we found out a restriction in movement uh, in terms of how we've, I get put my pulse on my knees, uh, and no jokes that one please guys, um, and we do a movement as a rotation round just to see where my limitation is with that. So we found we had, you know, I had some key issues as I'm turning to the right more than to the left of where the stiffness and where the mobility issues is by doing that. So what we're going to do now is, uh, we've just done a bit of manipulation on my back for me. Um, just trying, not so much loosen it up, but just to try and get it in a better place. And, and we're going to do uh, a little show, I'm going to show you here now, in terms of what we do in terms of that, that rotation exercise. And, and, and see, you know, let you see for yourselves on terms of where my mobility is. So I said, this is kind of the diary of, of what it is from going on from here. And hopefully we'll get to see how it improves as it goes on. So I'll get the, uh, the camera set up and I'll show you what we're doing from there. Okay. So if we bring those elbows back in closer. Okay. Okay. And then let's pop that right hand behind the head again for us. Uh, that's it. Yep. And then we'll lift that up and round for us. Any of that pain in there at all? Does that feel easy? You know, it's a lot easier than easier. it was. Cool. And then pop the right arm into the lower back. And then we're going to lift that up and round again. Good. Okay, relax down. No pain? No, not pain. Cool. No. And then we're going to lift that. So now we can see. We go that little bit further. So much more. So that's what we can see is you can go as far as you can go for me. So you can get to there. Yeah. But then what I can do is take you that bit further now. So now we've got rid of that stiffness. So yeah. the pain around there, we can see that the body will allow you to go. Yeah. It's just that you don't know how to. So we need to train those shoulder that shoulder blade to work better yeah. to start with your general help with your general function, but then train this area better. See, right. see before what I was doing guys is as I was trying to do that turn. As you saw me do the rotation myself, I wasn't able to even get halfway there. So that just shows how, how stiff and how tight up my back, my shoulder, and all in the lats area gets. Uh, and that's the kind of the idea now is to try and get the, the mobility back into that kind of phase. Some of that um, was because of not doing as much the last few days. You yeah, because I've not had a chance to do that much the last few days due to my, um, my family member being very ill at the moment. So I just not have the opportunity or, or Kind of not so much the want and the, the desire to do it, but I've just kind of gone time. time I've just ugh, right. I've, I've got back. I want to chill out. But this is what we're on about trying to get into a routine where I always get that, that opportunity to, to go and do something. If it is only five minutes, it's five minutes better than being sat my backside watching, uh, you know, some reality show <laughs> or cooking. So, so we'll see what else we can do next. Can we do? These exercises now, so okay. let's head down onto that pillow. So we'll go into the eyes and T's for us now. So okay. Just quickly whiz through these. So the eyes one, you know fairly well. So we're going to set the shoulders. So we're engaging the shoulders there, mm -hmm. and then we're lifting these arms up. Good. Hold. Slowly lower down. Okay. Nice and relaxed through the neck. We're just engaging these muscles. Okay. Set the shoulders. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> So help with that one. Yeah. Then we go into the T's. So we straighten the arms out. Again here, we set the shoulders. Okay. We engage and then we lift those arms. Good. So we're engaging these muscles here and then down. Good. Set the shoulders. Good. And then lift. Perfect. Okay. Good, so we're happy with those. So we've had Rob doing those for a couple of weeks, so he's yep. fairly happy with those. Yep. The new one today is a W, so what we're going to do is take the arm into sort of a W position, both sides. Okay. Again, we're going to set the shoulders, so we're going to bring back to there, yep. and then we're just going to slide those arms up and down. Now they can touch the floor, so we don't need to go that all the way up to come back down. Okay. So we're going to go sort of from there to about there. Okay. okay, so the elbow's just above the shoulder. The hands can slide along the floor if it's a bit hard or if it's a bit easy, if it's finding it a bit easier, and we can lift the hands just slightly off the ground. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Good, keep going, go, go, go. Good, and then back down. Keep it the whole time, keeping that engagement through there. So we're keeping those shoulders in a really good neutral position. The scapula really, really stable there. And down. Good. Pretty good with 
that? No pain or anything? No, no pain. The weird one with that one is that it doesn't feel as I'm as I'm going moving the hands forward. It doesn't feel like the shoulders are actually engaged. As, as I'm as I'm stepping back from here, I know that my shoulders engaged there. But moving forward, it feels like I'm losing everything from there. I'm just moving my arms up. Okay. So it doesn't feel like I'm actually able to have a control on on engaging that the the, the shoulder part there. Okay. It's, it's a bit of a weird one. That do I you don't... feel it in your neck at all? Or is it just... uh, a little bit, yeah. But it, it doesn't feel. It feels like it's almost like it's it's disengaging. Right. If, if I'm if I'm where I'm here. Yeah. Do it again. Engaged there. So set again. That's it. Yeah. I would say, so I'd say it's it's still working, all it yeah. is is, so your shoulder blade on that one is a bit different because it has to move, so your shoulder blades when they're there, when you're yeah. going up, they have to go like that, so that might be why it feels like that, but you're keeping the shoulder blades in that position, they're not dropping forwards, With you. riding up like we talked about the other t uh, the, when we were looking at the shoulders, yeah. they're, they're moving but they're moving in a good pattern, so right. that's what we want. That, that's good, cool. so he's trying to get that, that sense yeah, yeah, yeah. of feeling. So um, as long as you keep that feeling that you're working there, like yeah. I say, let the shoulder, the shoulder weights have to move on that, so that's fine. All right. Brilliant, yeah, thank you. Last one we're going to do in that position is a Y, so what you're going to do is rest down into there again, yeah. obviously now the hands are going to go up in front of you as if you're in a Y position, you're going to have thumbs sort of pointing up to the ceiling, okay? Then we're gonna get you, this is really tough, so we're gonna set those shoulders and then yeah. we're gonna lift those hands off the floor. Good, and down there, good. So we're really working hard through these muscles here. Good. I actually like that one. Nice and relaxed through the neck, which is good, but we're working mainly here. Okay, that's really good. Okay, really tough one, but a really good one. Okay, so you probably feel this is working it more yeah. because you've got more height with the hands. Right? Yeah, it feels like it's working more than what the other The W's is a good one to do as well because you've got that movement. All right? Yeah. Perfect. Happy with that one. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Cool. So you're going to start there. So first few things we've got to sort of think about just setting those shoulders a little bit, but also just being aware of our core in here. So we've yeah. got nice good posture. So we're thinking about our glutes, thinking about our core. So we keep a nice tall position there. Okay. Then from there, we're simply going up, squeezing into these areas. Good. So that band just comes across the chin there. Good. And then we can just alternate. You can do the same each side, you can do there or you can alternate, it doesn't really matter. If I, if I do the alternate, then at least I'm, I'm evening everything all out. Just be careful not to arch that back as you're pulling up. Yeah, so that's, just keep that core engaged a little bit. That's my problem with how my core is and, and how my posture actually is as well. You see it's very, very poor in that regard. So from there. Good, excellent, really good through there. Just nice and slow, squeeze it back. Engaged, cool. Perfect. One more each way. Good. Any pain there at all? No, no pain at all, no. Perfect. So that's um, the key. We know we're doing it right, but there should be minimal pain. Okay. Great, okay. Next one in this position, what we're going to do is we're actually going to resist you now pulling backwards. So rather than the, you're just resisting the band pulling against each other, you're actually resisting pulling backwards. So basically at home you're going to hook it around something, something's going to be in this sort of position and you're going to pull there so the band's going to be coming back like that. Oh, right. okay. So if you hold right on the ends of the band, okay, yeah. I'll be at the point here. You're going yeah. to start with both hands sort of level with the shoulders yeah. and then from there one hand's going back and one hand's going down. Okay, okay so, so, same so, so same movement, so wow. no, no, so come back, so again got to be up like that, so like you just did, All right. okay, okay. but not bending the elbows. That's it, perfect, good. So it'll be a bit harder, nice and slow, pause at the top. Okay. Good, there, pause at the top, okay. Hold at the top for a second, good, down. Hold at the top, good, and down. So it's that little bit harder because of yeah. resistance, good, but you're keeping your back in a good position, you're not arching. Good, you're really pulling the shoulder blades back, you're yeah. not hunching the shoulders up or anything. So that's the key, not to hunch those shoulders up too much. It's really hard. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. Especially when you get cramp in your tricep. Ow! Getting tired. Right. See, I'm just old. It's just old. There we go. All right. Yep. Happy days. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's fine. Right, guys, so that's the end of uh, episode one now uh, with MLH Physio with Matt. He's got some mobility back into my back. Uh, it is only small steps. Uh, and it's going to be quite a lot of small steps for some time once I can get the mobility back up and running. Uh, I know it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint, is this. Hopefully you like what you've seen uh, and you'll be interested to see a little bit more. 
Uh, please, by all means, subscribe to the channel and keep me up. Uh, I'll keep you updated uh, with uh, Battle for Fitness. And uh, please, uh, you know, consider contacting Matt. He'll be uh, only more than help, more than happy to try and help you all out. Uh, his link will be on the uh, on the screen here. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks a lot.